fellow option traders. This is Jeff from the Option Guru. And this is the final video on the November Profit 10 portfolio, which is closed. I closed it uh, last Friday. And sorry, but just getting around to making the video now. But I'm going to keep it kind of short and sweet because we've gone over the entry the uh, first exit and now the final exit. Entry was back here. Um, did the uh, put side of the iron condor on 914 and the call side of the iron condor on 917. Let me squish this down a little bit here and I can show you these are the nearest to the money short strikes. We're at 73 and 67. And we stayed in the iron condor through some ups and downs. But here on Friday, 10-5 was when I exited the put side of the iron condor for fear of a falling market. And lo and behold, the market did fall and it continued to fall. So then last Friday, or uh, October 12th, was when I exited the call side and all I did there was buy back my shorts. <laughs> Sounds funny, doesn't it? Uh, but that's what I did. And I still uh, am hanging on to the longs, but they're not worth a uh, snowball in hell right now. If you want to take a look, let's take a look. Um, on 10.5 was when I closed the put side, and we made like $123 off of it. I bought back... Um, I just closed them completely, totally and completely. I probably should have hung on to the long puts, but I didn't. I just I wanted to get the money for them because if I was wrong, then I would have just ended up losing whatever uh, premium was left in the long ones. So I closed the whole trade, um, both sides, the short and the long. And then on the 12th, Friday the 12th, I closed the call side, and all I did there was buy back the shorts because the longs weren't were worth even less because as you know this uh, they were six and eight strike wide so they weren't worth very much at all but I did buy them back for um, three cents and five cents respectively for the 73 and the 72 and made a fair chunk of money on that and for a total of nine hundred and sixty one dollars for this November and I booked that in October. All right, so let's go and take a look at the Analyze tab. Looking here at what we have set up, uh, right now, like I said, I still have these long calls and you can see over here that they're worth, actually they're worth less than a penny. Um, so I'm only carrying these out two decimal places. If you actually looked at them, they're worth a half a cent. So it's not worth doing anything on those. And I still have my 60 calendar that I mentioned in the last uh, video, and that's, that's my insurance. And we're sitting, the insurance policy right now is paying 54.91. Okay, uh, where was I? Yeah, this um, insurance policy right now is uh, worth fifty-four ninety-one. So that what did I pay for that? Like a hundred dollars or something? I forget what it was. So it's already up to fifty-four ninety-one. So I could say that I'm up fifty percent on that, roughly. I think that's one hundred twelve dollars. I think what I paid for these. So uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. What we're doing, and what I've been doing today anyway, was taking a look at. December's profit temp portfolio and what I would do first. Now, if I look at this um, wrong chart, if I look at this chart, and I have all my studies shut off, shut off so that uh, we can see what's going on here and we can project out into the future. So, and in order to do that, what I did, in case uh, you're wondering, I'll take this time or the uh, the uh, time axis, and I said. Make the expansion area 50 bars to the right. So I got plenty of room to look into the future and look at trends from that perspective. 
And when I look at this, um, this is where the insurance policy is at. And there's a good possibility that before expiration in November, which is this red line right here, that price could be down in that area. And what I like to do sometimes is turn on a linear regression. This is a variable one where you can set your variables, and I set the length to 30 periods, so it's looking back 30 periods, or on a daily chart, it'll be looking back 30 days. And I'll turn that study on, and we can take a look here at what it's telling us is that there's definitely, if we were to extend this, I'm not even sure if this can be extended. Uh, no, it cannot be extended. So if I was to take a trend line and extend it, and we'll just take the middle middle of it here and extend it down, um, there's a good chance that it could be a buck or two above or below this line, basically. So we could be heading into this direction, but the thing that I'm wondering is, is there going to be a bounce on Monday? And if there's a bounce on Monday, I am considering doing a 62-61 profit tent portfolio with uh, less lots than I did last for the last one. And what I'm thinking here is uh, 6 at the 62 short strike and three at the 63 short strike and I still have the separation on those that I had on the last one and we'll just take a quick look at that and I'll show you what that is here so we're talking about six wide and eight wide on the put side these aren't the prices if I was to take these prices say the 62 and 63 was what I was thinking about and I could actually I think I can take these and move them 62 and the 63 it would look something like that uh, I don't have enough strikes in here. I would have to add some more strikes, but you get the you get the hang of it. So that's what it would look like. And here's what the risk graph would look like, the risk profile uh, for a max profit of uh, seven hundred and seventeen dollars. Well, let's include our commission, so a max profit of six hundred and eighty three on that side of it but there's a little bit of risk here because uh, one standard deviation from the current price puts us out over here at 59.98 but that's pretty much what I did for the November one and it worked out fine because as we all know one the one thing that's true in a market and that's that price changes so let me turn that uh, linear regression off. I just say don't show the study. And there we are. And here's the 62. So that's what I'm thinking. Come Monday, will the market rebound or will it continue down? If it continues down, that's definitely going to be a bearish sign to me. And then I will be looking at what we can do on the call side. And that may be something around. 68 on the call side similar to what um, did last year so it would be 68 and 69 would be the short strikes or maybe even 67 and 68 we'll just have to see how it turns out all right so um, as you saw it was a fairly profitable uh, month on the trade Profit 10 portfolio here, $961. Not bad at all. Booked November Profit 10 portfolio, booked in October. All right, thanks for watching and happy trading.